flipped his driver off the footplate and followed them into the siding. Come back, yelled his driver. Ow, said Percy, sliding past the board. Percy was frantic. That's enough! Horrors, cried Thomas, and shut his eyes. The house rocked, broken glass tinkled. their journey when some empty cars became derailed. The winch groaned. Break it! Snap it! shouted the freight cars. And they did. On, on! Faster, faster! They giggled. The snowbank and buffers will stop them, said a workman. But he was wrong. The freight cars plunged into the ravine. Scarlowe and his driver heard the noise and looked up. Avalanche! They cried.
The twins left the quarry just in time. Switches. Slow down, called Thomas's driver and applied the brakes. Poor Thomas stood dazed and surprised in a muddy pond as a toad eyed him suspiciously. But Edward couldn't stop in time. Sorry, puffed Edward. Ill. The coupling came loose, and Scarloe rolled backwards. Help! cried Scarloe, but it was too late. Scarloe's flatbed biffed into the sidings and came off the track. A big cloud of stone dust whooshed down and landed right on... Suddenly, he bumped into a freight car. The freight car rolled into a lever, and then there was a whooshing sound. Oh no, James puffed. Coal poured out everywhere. It poured onto the tracks, and all over Gordon, James, and Emma. Gordon blew to clean his funnel. Coal dust shot into the air. It covered Sir Topham Hat and the railway inspector. Then it cracked. Oh no. And 
the coal spilled over. Some trucks were delighted. Luckily, Thomas was the freight cars bounced high in the air. They crashed and bashed. They clattered and shattered. Reneus raced right off the track. Oh no! cried Scarlowey. Fruit flew everywhere. Coming apart. And he biffed right into his lucky trucks. Too late. Shoot, and coal dust flew everywhere. Oh no, <coughs> a cough, Percy. All flowing cinders and ashes everywhere. No, hooded Percy. He slid off the tracks and into a field.